Hello everyone. Today we have a 2015 uh, Toyota Sienna, and um, we have an airbag module with a crash data uh, stored in it. So we will have to clear that, and I will be using a, a Car Pro 2, which is CPT. Okay, and this uh, unit has the part number as follows. You can see in here the one that ends up with 08140. Okay, that's a Toyota, and it's a 2015 Toyota Sienna, like I told you guys before. Okay. And this processor is a Renaissance H8SX, and it is a, um, as you see in here, um, it's a, a 1797 that ends up with, basically the whole thing is this one, out of uh, R5F61797, and we're doing a UR programming, okay? Um, you just gonna write um, the file into this one, in this particular one, you don't usually um, get a file, to read and repair and put it back because um uh, because this module is actually um like if you just get one from the junkyard if you put in your car you will not have to program it if it's as long as there's no crash data in it so that's why they just give you one file a clear file and you just write into it and that's it all right so um i did all my connections all right uh this is cpt Right, and this is the ISP which protects your on um, uh, uh, your MPU while doing the programming if something goes wrong, just in case. All right, and um, we have the module right over here. I want to take you guys' attention for one thing, okay? Um, you might you see the connections that I made according to the Car Pro tool, okay? I made all the connections to it and. You cannot leave the module like this when you're programming it, okay? Because when you put it back in your car, if you program it this way, it will get programmed, no problem. But when you finish it up, you put it back in your car, you might open all your side air, uh, roof airbags or God knows which ones, because the car will think that it's rolling over, okay? So you must hold it the way it stands in the car, which is this way, okay? So um, let's see, I'm supposed to have this file in my whole, in my computer already. So um, I'm gonna go in here. Let's see. I'm gonna search for the file for this car because it is the same for all of these cars with the same part number. If you've seen from my previous videos, um, uh, uh, they usually get the file, I mean each file belongs to a certain car and because they uh, contain VIN numbers and stuff like that. So let's see, the part number is 89. Oh, here we go, came up already. So this is the file, oh, this is 160, sorry. Uh, let me just move this away. We're looking for the 140. don't as you see this one ends up with the 140 because this cars um they come with two different modules sometimes they can have the 140 or what for the 160 so I'm gonna open this up and um let's see in the hex editor yes we do have the mod we do have the file opened up okay we're just gonna hit right and let's see what happens sometimes it can give a problem if you don't have a good connection to the circuit board I'm gonna try my best. Oh, it just wants me to open it up again. No problem. Um, the module number was uh, eight nine. Here you go. This is the one. I'm gonna hit open. And it's gonna start writing to it. If there's no problem with our connections. Oh, 
now it's the one you see the green bar on the bottom it's showing that actually on um, it started programming it right now it's erasing all the memory in that renaissance chip okay and um and it's gonna write the file that i just uh, gave it to the computer right now it's writing the memory it takes a little longer than the reading and erasing it I'm not gonna cut off the video guys, I'm just gonna show you the whole process because it doesn't take that long. I have actually used this product um, uh, called Pro Tool many times, especially with Renaissance processors. They are really, really great. I do have different computers for different type of processors, but I'm um, the on Renaissance processors. I'm really, really happy to have this tool. It always done, done the right job for me. You might probably see my other videos. Um, I use on um, CarPro a lot of times for EPROMs and also for the um, Infinity processors. Also, Car Pro, uh, Car Pro is really good at that. So right now, guys, you see this? Right, memory done. And then once you see that sign, it says CRC OK. That means that we are successfully written the new file into this module. OK? And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to dissolve all the um, points that I have in here. OK? And um, I had to actually... Um, short couple of points in this in this particular one as you see right where um, I'm sorry for the so for the very right over here you see this I'm sorry you see this right here right next to the resistor little resistor there's a short pin I the computer asked me to uh, short these out I did that and he asked me to remove the resistors right over here there used to be a zero on Resistor. I mean, uh, there used to be um, a resistor in here that was with zero, and also uh, in here, right next to the uh, main processor. Okay, right over here, there used to be a uh, resistor. I mean, um, it's a zero. Uh, it's a zero. It's zero. So you don't really have to um, put back the resistors in there, which looks just like this, guys. Like this one. I'm sorry. This is also zero, you see? Just like that. So you can actually just remove that and just short them out and you'll be good to go. Okay, guys. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you guys, have a good day. You know what? I wanted to make another video, follow up video for that um, 2015 um, Toyota Sienna just to see that the, uh, the airbag light is gonna go off. Of course, I disconnected the battery and just disconnected the positive part. I mean, I do suggest you guys to disconnect both of it and wait for 30 minutes at least. Um, that's the safest way to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna put this back in. I'm not gonna tighten it up right now. Okay, so on, on, I'll show you the airbag module location as well. You see? That's where the airbag module is located. But yeah, I'm, I'll give you a little brief information as well for that. It's so, um there's a center console in here. You need to remove that first. And um as you see in here, there's two screws goes on the other this at the end of the um uh at the end of this um little thing. And um you gotta take those off and then you have a couple of clips in here, you gotta take these off, and you have two screws in here that you gotta take that off. And you have two clips that's in here that comes in there, okay? You gotta take those clips away and um you'll be good to go. And then you can just pull this thing out and it'll just come right away. And I will suggest you guys, of course, definitely all the times, every time you're doing with the airbag module or anything that related to airbag, you need to disconnect the battery. It's mandatory, guys. Or else you're gonna face big problems. Big, big problems. All right, so um, I'm gonna put the car on right now. I'm gonna see if it starts. Mm -hmm. oh, let me see where's the key. I don't know. I'm gonna have the key. Oh, here's go. Let's see. Let's have the car. 
that's it guys you see my back light is off and um that's it so again guys if you guys have any questions just let me know enjoy the rest of your day